Hey everyone, this is Mike here with Envoy. I'm going to show you how to install that hourly bid optimization script uh, Walt and I just talked about um, in the video. So here I have the EnvoyMediaGroup.com homepage loaded up. Uh, just go to EnvoyMediaGroup.com and you'll look on that page, there'll be a section called Code. Now we're, we're in the middle of redesigning uh, this website, but we'll have a section called Code that you can go to to find this stuff in the future. Um, and on Code, it's this first link here, AdWords Hourly Bid Optimization Script and Template. You click that and then uh, click to go through to GitHub where we have it hosted. And there's a readme here that talks a bit about the finer points of formatting the Google template, the Google Doc, and other things. But uh, what we want out of here, just go ahead and click the hourly bid optimization.js. This is the actual code of the script itself. And to easily copy it, we're going to go ahead and click raw. Um, we're going to do a select all, command A or control A and then Command C or Control C, depending on if you're on Mac or PC, to copy. And here we're going to take a look at our AdWords account. So we have three campaigns here. Let's imagine this is uh, Zappos' first AdWords campaign ever, and they have red shoes, green shoes, and blue shoes. Very, very simple. We only have three campaigns in this account. I'm going to show you where to go to install the script. So uh, down here on the left, we have bulk operations. That's where we want to click. And that's going to bring up the script section for us. If it doesn't, it may bring up a page that um, has you select between bulk edits, bulk uploads. But click scripts. And you can also go on the left nav and click scripts over here. And what we want to do is hit plus script. Go ahead to add a new one. So we're going to hit that. It's going to load. And let's see. All right. So it has a thing called unnamed script. So let's just call it hourly bid optimizations. We'll start there. And um, we are going to, once again, delete this stuff and paste in the code that we just put in. Great. All our code is now in there. And what we also have to do is authorize it. Every time you change uh, the name of the script or add a new one, you have to authorize it. And what it does is it gives you a thing that's saying, you know, would you like to allow this script to manage your AdWords campaigns? And you have to say allow. So that part is important. If you see an error about authorization, you need to go ahead and click that allow button. So I'm going to show you uh, the configuration parts of this script. The first thing you want to configure is the spreadsheet URL. And this is just the shareable Google Sheet URL that you're using. Uh, you need to take the template and then copy and paste it and make your own. Um, it's currently defaulted to the template that everyone is able to view and copy and paste. You probably don't want to use that because uh, you can't edit it at all. But it will work if you actually uh, use it. So this is that URL. And you also can specify the tab name of the spreadsheet. So uh, at the bottom, you can name your spreadsheets. And they defaulted to sheet 1. So that's what this is defaulted to. And here is the most important bits here. We have two variables. One is include campaign name contains. And basically, anything in this, uh, these things have to be found within the names of whatever you're looking at. And on the exclude, it's select which, you know, anything in the name that you want to exclude on. And the include campaign names is basically doing kind of an or, this or that or that. And the exclude is really like an and modifier. It can't have foo or bar. Both of these are not allowed. So here's what we do. If you wanted to just get everything in your account, you can just go ahead and delete the stuff in between these brackets here, and it'll be an empty array. And if you've never coded before, uh, congratulations, you're coding your first JavaScript here. Um, but let's just say we want to add something for this account. So we can go ahead and say uh, shoes, because we had red, red shoes, green shoes, and blue shoes. Um, so we're going to say shoes, but you know what? We don't want that green one touched. And so we're going to put green in the exclude. If you want to do multiples, if we didn't want it to touch blue, we would just do comma, another quote, and put whatever words you want in quotes. The other point to make sense here is the matching is case insensitive. It does not matter if it's capitalized or not capitalized. It'll match it. You'll notice I did lowercase shoes, uh, even though it, it's title cased uh, with a capital S in the actual campaign name. It doesn't matter. So let's just do this. I'm going to take away the blue. So we say we want red and blue shoes to be part of this hourly bid optimization. We do not want the green campaign. Let's say we're going to make another script for the green campaign. Um, so that's what this does. Now I'm going to switch over to the tab of the template so you can see what it is. And you basically have kind of uh, sunk my battleship grid here. Uh, the top is day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all the way through Sunday. And the hours, 0 all the way to 23. 
Um, and that's really just midnight to 11 p.m. is the way you think about that. And you can change your modifiers. We have a whole bunch of sample ones. The, the boosts are colored in green and dark green for really big boosts. And then the uh, red is uh, a penalty. You want to bid down. And the dark red is bidding down by more than 50%. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. We have Sunday. It's currently 3 p.m., so that's 15. We're on Sunday, so that'd be a minus 20%. Okay, now there's two things in pink over here I want to point out. Current modifier. This actually, the script writes back to the script to let you know what the current modifier is. And it's going to be not a percentage like what you're seeing on the left here. It's actually going to be a a multiplier, which was what Google does. And it's if I multiply this number by this, you know, this is what happens. So a one means no change, because if you multiply any number by one, it's the same number. So that's what that is. You don't touch it. It'll The script will automatically uh, deal with that for you. And right below it is a another boost, and it's called the hot mode boost. And if you'll remember, Walt just talked about this in the video, hot mode will get applied to any hour that uh, that is currently runs. Every time the script runs for an hour, it'll pull the hour day of what you want to happen from here. So in our case, this would be minus 20%. And then it would add the hot mode boost on top of that. This is a really easy way for you to say, I don't care what hour it is. I just know things are going really, really well. And you can boost by 50% just from this field alone. So there's a lot of power in it, but be careful. Um, so we've got a minus 20 and a plus 20 would mean we'd get a one with no bid change. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just say minus 20%, we'll say a 10% boost. So minus 20 plus 10, we should get a 10%, uh, a minus 10% modifier when we run the script. So let's go ahead and run the script and see what happens. We've got it pasted here and there's a nice big red preview button. You want to hit this to see what happens. We're going to go ahead and click it. Remember red and sh red and blue shoes should be modified and green should be left alone. So let's go ahead and run this. Now when it runs, it's going to take a minute to a minute and a half. Uh, oh, it needs me to authorize it again. Just hit authorize now. Go ahead and hit allow. And here we go. I'm going to hit preview again. The authorization is, sometimes it just forgets. I don't, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, but there's two tabs I want to draw you to. Changes. This is what we're on. It will show what campaign it would change and what the current old value was and what the new value would be. So it's a great way to see like what would happen if you were to run this. I'm going to go ahead and click the logs. And the script outputs currently a bunch of log information. It says it's Sunday. The current hour of the day is 15, which is uh, 3 p.m. It's currently It found a hot mode boost of uh, 10%, like we said, 0.1. And there's a current bid modifier of minus 20%. That's minus 0.2. So the actual multiplier it wants to do in Google is 0.8. So say minus 20%. But then you'll see final bid multiplier after applying hot mode will be 0.9. So we would be left with 90% of what of our what our base bid was. If our base bid was a dollar on that keyword or on any keyword in the campaign, those bids would all be 90 cents for this hour. So let's see. We've got. This is the log screen, see if we have anything in the changes yet. Nope, still going. An important thing to note, this script is pretty effective. Uh, we've run it successfully on uh, accounts that have, you know, 1,000, 2,000 campaigns in them. But once you start getting over that 2,000 campaign mark, uh, it doesn't run fast enough. It, you need to make your script run within 30 minutes total. And as you could imagine, accessing every single campaign and every single ad schedule and account that big can take some time. So you... Uh, if you have an account that big, you're probably going to want to do a custom API implementation so that you can make sure you hit all those campaigns fast enough. The scripts may not work for you. But for most people and anything under, I'd say about 2,000 campaigns, you'll be just fine. All right, so I think we've got some changes here. So remember, we said not green, so look at it. It was going to add an ad schedule, which had our bid modifier in it, uh, to red shoes and green shoes only. So we got the preview. That's exactly what we wanted. And... This script is good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and I'm going to save it. Now it's in our account, and it's ready to be run. Now, uh, what Walt and I have done when we were using more API stuff now, but when we were using these scripts, we would make several spreadsheets, or you could make several tabs within a spreadsheet and say, this is our shoes one, this is our shirts one, this is our pants one, as we segment and segment further, and have different Google Sheets spreadsheets for every one of those segments. 
And it starts to be a whole lot uh, of things to keep track of, but that's how you get a lot of gains by getting down to that micro level. But for right now, for the purposes of this video, we're just going to take a look at this one script running in our account. And here it is. We can see that we can run it manually, or we can hit this create schedule link, which we're going to want to do, and it'll allow us to run on a, a frequency basis. So we can say one time, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly. For our purposes, we want to be 24-7. We want to run every hour. And email me if my authorization expires. That's great because sometimes that authorization is a little flaky at times. And we're going to hit save. Okay, so now it runs hourly. An important thing to note is that you can't control what minute of the hour it runs. It might run five minutes after. It might run 45 minutes after. So think about that when you're putting your bids in. Most of the times it's pretty good, but you can't control it. If you want to control it even better, you're going to have to do, an, uh, once again, a custom API implementation. But this tends to do well enough. So that's it. Enjoy, and happy, happy uh, bid optimizations, everybody.